This here double swirly shape is called the Lorenz Attractor, and it's running here in Minecraft without any mods or data packs, just using Minecraft's built-in scoreboard functions. The math is all being done in real time, so we can change the equations and get a new shape. And in fact, the machine here is pre-programmed with a handful of different shapes, so we can turn off the Lorenz Attractor entirely and turn on another shape like the Rossler Attractor. If we're feeling extra chaotic, we can even mix and match uh, shapes turning on multiple at once. But this is usually unstable and just explodes. The shapes can even be ran with different skins. So here's the Lorenz Attractor again, but this time with the new cherry blossoms for texture. This one's the Halverson's Attractor, <laughs> running with wax sparkles. The shapes are made by differential equations, and they're called attractors just because all these little flying blocks are attracted to them. But instead of equations, it's actually going to be easier to think of these things as airplane directions. See, you can figure out where exactly an airplane is if you know its latitude, its longitude, and its altitude. And during a flight, the direction that a plane is pointing in changes depending on what those three numbers are. For instance, if your altitude is getting too low, the plane's nose should probably be pointed upwards. You can think of each block here as a little airplane, and the Lorenz system is just the instruction book that tells that airplane what direction to point in based on where it is. But instead of latitude, longitude, and altitude, these are just using Minecraft's XYZ coordinates. More specifically, the three equations of the Lorenz system, they're just telling you what that airplane's speed should be in the X, Y, and Z directions. Then each attractor is just all the stable flight paths allowed by that instruction book. Now, if we want to add a new shape to the machine, the first thing we gotta do is go find some differential equations online. We could try to make our equations from scratch, but the odds that that would actually give you a chaotic attractor are probably about the same as the odds that five random objects from your kitchen will make a good meal. So instead, we just look up a recipe that other people have tested already. Next, we translate the equations into a made-up programming language called Coreboard. This is essentially a translator language. It's the thing that communicates between Minecraft's scoreboard commands on one hand and the math equations on the other. We're using Python to automate that communication process. In computer science language, we'd actually say that we're using Python here as a compiler. Once the scoreboard commands are all generated as text, then at that point we can save them to a schematic file as tile entities. Then finally, we can paste this thing into our world using Lightmatica. Add some global scoreboard variables, and with that, our new shape is ready to go. This one's called the Chen Selikovsky Attractor. This is essentially the same as the Lorenz Attractor, but instead of a pinch in the middle, this one has a twist. I've made a few Minecraft machines like this, both by hand and with data packs of some kind, and oddly the whole Python coreboard thing has been the easiest approach so far. But if you want to try the device yourself with a bit less trouble, you can download the map from Planet Minecraft with everything set up and running already. And the map comes with a control panel too, so as long as you can flip levers and mash buttons, then you've got everything you need to run the thing. My name's Chris. Thanks for watching.